Where are we going? We're going to the storage lot. Pick up the trailer. What were you doing after that? Going camping. Camping! Woohoo! Yay! Camping! First trip of the season. This will be the trip to get the cobwebs off, basically, since it's the first one of the season, and then uh, we'll we'll see how much of this we still like, <laughs> since we've had the whole off season to forget it. Uh, we'll ride some bikes, we'll cook some food, we'll put some Legos together. That's right, Legos. Yeah, you don't. You, some of you out there probably don't know this, but uh, me and the missus, we're kind of Lego freaks. Yeah. We have a lot of Legos. There is a whole room in our house that is nothing but Legos. And we got a new one. It's a camper. We've been holding on to it to do... We go to our first camping weekend of the season. So we have that to look forward to. Now one thing you need to make sure to do when you're taking your RV out for your camping trip is make sure that you tighten the lugs. You don't want any wheels flying off when you're heading down the highway. At least I don't. Maybe you're into different stuff. Well, dear, I would say that we're getting pretty good at hitching this bad boy up. Yeah. What do you think? I think so, too. Yeah, it doesn't take us much time at all to back her in, get it hitched, and cinched, and ready to fly. Let's go! We don't... We don't actually fly. <laughs> no. We can ride. Snail slow. Yeah. Yeah, oh gosh. We don't fly in the air and we don't fly metaphorically <laughs> down the road. We're hitched and cinched and ready to crawl. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Alright, let's do this. going to the sign-in center, registering us for camping. My job is to wait here and guard the truck. So far, so good. Hey! Sorry, I thought I saw a ruffian. I wasn't. The last two times we were at Haas Lake campground, we, we stayed in the same spot each time. But this time, Somebody else is in that spot, so we we have to camp at a different spot. That's how it works, apparently. If somebody's in one spot, you can't camp there. You have to camp at a different spot. I suppose it makes sense, on some level. But uh, so that's the way we have to do it. So listen, I I should point something out to you all, because you often see my wife doing things. Seems like she's doing more than me because I'm recording sometimes. But what you don't see is that I'm the one who loads all the crap into the truck while she's still at work. Because I took the whole day off and so I'm the one who's loading up everything into the truck. All the bikes, all the coolers, all this hoo-ha back here. It's absurd. We take an inordinate amount of things for a weekend camping trip. It's a sickness, really. I should also mention that not only is it my job to load all the stuff into the truck, it's also my job to unload the truck. Where I lug it over here to the waiting arms of my beautiful, lovely wife. You may think that it's easy to make a bed. Not in an RV, not by yourself, not when you're really short. All this effort, and it still looks like five-year-old did it. 
It's a pain in the butt. Okay, so last year we only bought one step cover. Why did we only buy one? But this year we bought extras. So we can do the entire staircase. Classy. Madame, your brown carpet awaits. So we have this beautiful light here in our, our dining area. And unfortunately, the light bulbs that came with it last year um, kind of burned out. So this year we decided to replace them and we got new LED lights. And they're very funky looking. They look like this. But this is what they look like when they're on. This is kind of cool. So looking forward to enjoying some LED lights that are going to be better for us. They'll last longer, use less energy, and still give us nice bright light. We wanted to do something for our chairs because after we set up in the summertime, we're sweaty and just dripping and you don't want to sit in the leather chair when you're dripping sweat because it's just going to get all over the chair. So we decided to have some towels made to put as like headrests on the chairs or covers so that when you lean back, your sweaty head gets on the towel instead of the chair. Keep the chairs a little nicer. So my mom, who does embroidery, did some special towels for us. Here's campfires and air conditioning. And if you don't know, when we bought the trailer, it was a little more than we originally bargained for. So after we got it, we kept saying something over and over. So we decided to name our trailer. What were we thinking? might be a little crispy on part, but uh, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Just, um, you know, eat around the scorched marks. This one bastard chicken breast does not want to get to 165. Uh, I don't know what else to do. Charlie's just gonna have to get salmon out. You're smiling now. <laughs> Maybe you eat it. <laughs> okay, here's a phenomenon that I'm not too familiar with. I've been running this grill for about a half an hour or so, and this has frost on it. It's frozen. And it's over here too. This is frosty ice. Wow. That's some Mr. Wizard stuff right there. Hey, baby. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> you like? <laughs> it's very sexy. It's the latest for this season. Can it's, you say sexy? It's, it's called onion height. <laughs> what, it's, what's it's it called? Onion height. <laughs> it's so sexy. <laughs> This is how you achieve the look of Funyun face. First, you take a Funyun. Secondly, you take your face. And then you stick the Funyun in your face. <laughs> and then you try and talk while you shred your gong. The <laughs> Some words are harder to say than others. Sweetie? Yeah. You wanna to go to bed? Are you ready? I'm ready enough. Okay, okay. Just falling asleep in a chair. Okay, okay. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> you is a song long. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be camping if I didn't record a video about my night's sleep. It didn't go well. Hey babes. Yo. Where are we going? Camping world. Why? Because we gotta buy something. What are we gonna buy? 
new mattress. Why? Because the other one sucks. <laughs> Why do you seem so angry about it? Because I did not sleep at all last night. <laughs> The mattress that came with the thing sucked, and then the thing that we bought to put over the mattress that sucks doesn't stop the suckage. <laughs> so, out of sheer desperation, we're going to drop a buttload of money on a new mattress. And, and what are we going to do with the old mattress? Burn it in effigy. <laughs> we're going to have a ritual, ritual sacrifice to the gods of mattresses. <laughs> It's something that we're probably going to have to do at some point, so we might as well just bite the bullet so that this thing is actually comfortable on a regular basis. My only worry is that it still won't be. <laughs> but, um, but hey, you know, why have an RV if you're not going to constantly buy shit for it? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm testing the mattress. I hope the one we get is bigger than that. <laughs> but it's too squishy. Too squishy? Yeah, it squishes all the way down. As opposed to what we have now? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's just my head, it's okay. Well, but as soon as any other part of my body comes on, <laughs> it squishes right down. <laughs> You're gonna get this kicked out. <laughs> but is it better than what we have? I gotta believe yes. Regardless. <laughs> I, I, if it was a slab of concrete, it's gotta be better than what we have. We did it. We bought it. It's here. Wish us luck. So that's it. I'll roll it up. It's a roll. It's, a roll. it's like a burrito. No, burrito. It's a burrito bed. So far, this one feels pretty good. It's what is it? A serene foam something. So, Ten inches of foam. Seems to feel much better than the little piece of garbage that came with the RV. This is gonna be better. I mean, we definitely we paid for it, but at the end of the day, if you're not getting a good night's sleep, it, it doesn't matter if you're on vacation. You just you're not gonna be able to enjoy yourself. So. Uh, um. Wait. What? I was supposed to pay for it. Okay. I think I have brakes line. <laughs> and it's time for girl cheese. Yay! I was shredding some cheese for some of the other grilled cheeses, and this is what we've got going on. This is gonna be good stuff. What's in it? Havarti, Gouda. <laughs> so I should probably mention that um, she just set off the smoke detector. <laughs> this is why I usually make the grilled cheese. It wasn't mine that she burned, so I'm kind of okay. What's wrong with it? Goat cheese on a grilled cheese. <laughs> no, it's mushy and gritty and that's not right. <laughs> Don't do it. God, I look like a friggin' hobo. It was good. I like the grilled cheese. <laughs> with a pink face. I'm a hobo with a pink face. You're Santa in training. Ah, look what you did. Perfection on the plate. Look at that. That's beautiful. So beautiful. 
So delicious. We're riding our bikes. Riding our bikes. Yeah, yeah. Riding our bikes. <laughs> She's almost as crazy as me. Riding our bikes. Riding our bikes. Riding our bikes. Hey you, what you making? Quesadillas. Quesadillas? Quesadillas. <laughs> Genuine quesadillas. <laughs> Be careful they're gluten free. Stuff burns quicker. Oh, that's golden brown. Beautiful. <laughs> it's not like the chicken last night. This is, that is lovely. Oh yeah. Look at you flipping like a master. Oh yeah. You know why that is? <laughs> why? Because I'm a master. A master quesadilla maker. Quesadillas, grilled cheese. I am a god. <laughs> Chicken. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> what if they're chicken quesadillas? If the chicken's pre cooked, <laughs> God. If I have to cook the chicken myself beforehand, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Because apparently the jokers that did our dewinterizing when they you know try flush the crap out of the, uh, the tanks, they didn't actually drain them afterward. So after less than a day, one gray tank was full, one black tank was full. Another gray tank was half full. And there's no way, there's no way we filled an entire black tank in a day with just two people when I never even used it. And there's no way we filled an entire gray tank when none of us took showers. I mean, so what the hell, man? There's no way I was gonna hook it up and then take it to dump it just to come back last night to spend one night to get ready to go this morning. So here I am. Good morning to me. Hitching up, time to go home. One of the nice things about this particular trip to Haas Lake is it's the first time in three trips that it's not pouring rain while we're packing up to go. So it's gonna be nice, dry, blue skies, a little cool, but I'm all right with that. While we head to the dump station and uh, dump the poop. Hey honey, what's it time for? It's time, time for, for the nasty! <laughs> poop. It's a beautiful day here in Southeast Lower Michigan. You know what it's a beautiful day for? Going home and taking a shower. I'm gross. <laughs> She's pretty gross too. So somehow in our trip from Haas Lake to our storage lot, uh, something has happened to the RV. It has become electrified. The rim going around, this door, the metal on the inside is all has a current running through it. We unplugged it from the truck, so it must be getting it from the battery, but we don't know why. We don't know what happened. It was literally in the last 20 minutes that this occurred and we're stumped. The lock on the door is also electrified. So uh, the lady is gonna man up and she's going in. We can figure out the fingers. Maybe we're not the ones best suited for this task. 
try not to touch anything metal, of which there is much. And the bigger is, man, water got in somehow and shorted something out. I don't know how. I don't know. Touch it, see if it's just me. I am not touching it. Just do it, it quick. I don't want to. I've been electrified before and I do not like it. I don't either, but I want to make sure. Why would it just be you? I don't know. Electricity doesn't discriminate. It might. It doesn't. So that, that one, uh, I have no idea. I have no idea either. I don't, I don't know what could possibly have happened in the, in the last minutes. <laughs> 10 miles. Because it was fine when we hooked up the, the or put everything, all the sewer stuff away. But that was on the other side, which was... But still, it was fine when we, yeah, when we um, hitched it. it. Up, yeah. I'll Wait. be calling the <sighs> tomorrow. This is weird. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I guess it better to happen at the end of our trip instead of at the beginning. That's true. Especially when we have a three week break between our next trip. So yeah. it gives them three weeks to figure it out and fix it. And hopefully, I think we're still in our warranty window. Yeah. So. Wish boy. us luck. Yeah. Hey there everybody, this is Dustin from Campfires and Language. I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you for watching our videos. We really enjoyed having you tag along with us on our little misadventures. In fact, we've got even more adventures coming up this summer. We've got lots of little trips planned and that means more videos. So if you do enjoy it, maybe consider subscribing. And that way you won't miss a beat. You won't miss any of the hard-hitting action. Any of the side-splitting, rip-snorting guffaws. Saying. I guess what I'm saying is, if you like it, you know, subscribe, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do more. Yeah, I guess that's it. Till then, be good.